Hi developers, I'm Hossein Dillai, Microsoft MVP. In this video, we'll learn how to create a Xamarin.iOS application that uses Xamarin.auth NuGet package in order to log in with Facebook and get basic user information like his name, his ID, his cover photo, and his picture. I have an overview of this application that we want to build today. So here I do have a login to Facebook button. Click in that button. Here I get a web view from Facebook asking me to put my email and my password in order to log into Facebook. So if I provide my login and my password, I click login. Then you see that in this page I get my cover photo, my image, my full name, and my ID from Facebook. So let's learn how to create such an application. For that, I'm using here Xamarin Studio, and here I have all the code, and I'll get you through this code and how to create this uh, application. So actually, the code uh, does exist, and the official Xamarin.auth NuGet package open source code which is hosted on a GitHub under this URL here. And from here you can get all the docs and the source code and some sample applications. So I get exactly my code from this page here at the uh, get started uh, sample. back to Xamarin Studio. So here um, I, get, um, I started by creating a new empty iOS application. And from the storyboard, I have added an image for uh, registering my, or for, that will show my cover photo and another image to show my picture. A first label to show my full name and a second label to show my uh, Facebook ID and a button of course to do a login to Facebook and this button contains all the ma all the magic code to login and get user profile information from Facebook so if I double click that button here I have the code for uh, for that button or the event handler associated with that button here I'm using a world authenticator and this object does exist in the xamarin.auth nuget package so I have and already installed that package. So you see it here, xamarin.auth inside my uh, packages folder. I did that by going to packages and hit add packages. From here, I look for a package called xamarin.auth. So this is xamarin.auth, the, the NuGet package that we need to install here. It could be installed by just hitting add package here. I already done that, so I don't need to do it now. Once we have installed that package, we can use the OAuth2 authenticator object, which will use the OAuth2 uh, mechanism in order to connect to Facebook with these parameters. So we need to specify the client ID, authorization, uh, URL, and redirect URL. So we can get the client ID from a Facebook website. So if I go to Facebook website, exactly to the developers.facebook.com, I can create an account and then I can create Facebook applications by clicking here to create a new app. And after creating an application, you can get the in the dashboard here the parameter you need which is the app ID for your Facebook application. So this is for the app ID. We, for the second parameter here which is the redirect URL, we, we should copy this uh, URL here which is a standard for, for almost for all Facebook applications. Then we need to paste it uh, where we have Facebook uh, login. So we need to paste it here in this um, in this uh, text view here where we have valid OAuth redirect URIs. So that um, make sure 
you don't forget this step once we have specified these parameters and actually here the this parameter here the authorized url you can just keep using this same um, uh, url so now we are ready to send our request to facebook our request for authentication to facebook we'll put our at the uh, NuGet package, we we'll, would we'll put this uh, request inside a web view, or actually we'll use the web view to send the request, because we need to specify or to give Facebook our login and our password in order to be verified, and that's done by this line of code here, auth.getUI. This will uh, create a web view to send the request. So once we have that user interface, we'll present it using present view controller. So this is actually will create the web view and will give us the page where we are asked to put our login and password. Once we tap it our login and our password, and click login then the request will be sent to facebook service once we we get a response then we'll uh, we'll fire the event auth completed and auth completed does all the rest for us uh, so it will verify that if the user is um, authenticated successfully, if, he, if the login and password are correct. If that's the case, then it will create a request using OAuth2. It will ask Facebook for uh, user information as specified here. So it will go to the Facebook API from the graph.facebook.com and ask for information for the current user for that here we are specifying the me and asking for information like the name the picture cover and birthday we get the response from facebook that response is in format of a json so we need to parse that json and here in Xamarin with uh, Xamarin Studio, we get a library for parsing JSON, which is included in my references here. That library is the system uh, dot uh, JSON. You don't get that by default in Visual Studio, so maybe you need to install JSON, uh, Newton Soft JSON uh, NuGet package in order to parse your JSON file. Parsing the JSON file will give us a Facebook user object from which we can extract the name, the ID, the picture URL, and the cover source of uh, the uh, current logged in user. We'll use this information to display them inside our uh, name label, ID label, and our picture and cover images. Once that's done, We'll go and dismiss the uh, view controller. That means dismissing the web view for that send the request. I hope this was helpful for you and thank you.